Hi, I'm Beth Ketterman, director of the Lopez Health Sciences Library. This doesn't quite look like Town Bank Tower, does it? Our plan was to host the 2020 Health Sciences Author Recognition Awards there on November 12th to celebrate the productivity of our Division of Health Sciences Authors. As you can imagine, the logistics of hosting the event became far too difficult in this time of pandemic. We are incredibly hopeful we will be able to celebrate with you there next year at that venue. In the meantime, I'm here in our beautiful History Collections room on the fourth floor of the library. It seems somewhat fitting that we're recording here today. The History Collections at Lopez is where we curate and manage our collection of rare books, archives, and artifacts. This area includes records of our colleges and schools' histories and the history of healthcare, especially that of our providers here in Eastern North Carolina. We are living in an unprecedented and historic time, and it is the work that you all do now to further the practices and research in disciplines like occupational therapy, midwifery, general dentistry and pediatric medicine, and others from across all the departments in our divisions College of Nursing, College of Allied Health Sciences, School of Dental Medicine, and the Brody School of Medicine that will become part of the historical record. Some of your work will undoubtedly be impacted by the times in which we are living. It may evolve to include the impact of COVID-19 or racial and social justice issues as they relate to your scope of research. Lopez Library will continue to partner with you in these efforts and collect, preserve, and make discoverable this important scholarly work for future generations of health sciences learners. Perhaps some of the works we are honoring in the 2020 Health Sciences Author Awards virtual ceremony will live on as treasures in this history collections reading room for hundreds of years to come. And now about our authors. This year we had a total of 91 authors. Our authors produced four books, seven book chapters, and 268 journal articles. In a moment, you'll see a list of all these authors, but first we want to make a special recognition of our book authors, all of whom received the Lopez Medallion for the exceptional contribution they've made to their field of study or practice. It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. John Popolis, Brody School of Medicine alum and chair of the Friends of the Library, to talk a little bit about how the Friends are leveraging their support for the library in this very unusual year. Hello everybody, my name is John Popolis, and on behalf of the Lopez Friends of the Library, I would like to congratulate all the recipients of the awards tonight at the Health Author Recognition Award Ceremony. Unfortunately, because of COVID, we have to hold this event virtually, and it's a shame. It breaks my heart because it's one of my favorite events to attend every year uh, because I get to see all of you and all the great contributions that our uh, health science community is making, and they are rightly recognized. Um, but I also like to recognize uh, people in attendance, and this is virtually, um, who are friends of the Lopez Library. So if you are watching this, Stand up, pat yourself on the back, because uh, it is through uh, the Friends of the Lapis Library that events like this and many others are supported. And uh, it is an honor uh, for our group to uh, be able to support. Um, finally, I would just like to remind everybody that uh, enrollment is now open for Friends, and um, we typically have brochures available, but uh, if you uh, want, you can go to the website, the Lopez Library website, and follow the links um, for uh, enrollment, and um, you can participate that way. So thanks again, congratulations to all the authors, and uh, hope to see you next year. That wraps up our virtual ceremony. 
Congratulations again on your publications and scholarly works this past year. I wish you all good health and wellness until we can celebrate in person next time.